Hello everyone and welcome back. Till the previous session, we have learned quite a few instruction types of the data transfer instructions group. Now with those, we already have covered various opcodes which are in that particular group. Now if you have gone through our previous sessions, I have been telling you that at a point of time in our due course, I'll tell you how the opcodes for a particular instruction is formed. Well, this session is going to be an introduction to that. And today we are going to learn about the register codes in 8085 microprocessor. So without any further ado, let's get to learning. Coming to the topic that we are going to cover in this session, today, just like I announced earlier, we are going to learn about the register codes in 8085 microprocessor. Now before we proceed ahead and study about the register codes in 8085 microprocessor, let me explain what is the need for this. And for that, I would like to take you back to the study of the memory of 8085 microprocessor. We already know within the 8085 microprocessor, the pins 28 to 21 and 19 to 12, that is essentially the address bus, or in other words, the pins A15 to A8 and A7 to A0, using these 16 pins, Within the memory, we can access 65,536 locations. And how is that possible? This is possible because these all pins are parallel and these are responsible for the 16-bit addresses which will be sent to the address decoder of the memory, right? So using 16 bits, we are able to address 65,536 locations or in general 64k locations. Similar to this, for the registers that we have in our 8085 microprocessor, which are actually accessible to the programmers, we can also address them. Now notice, we have got 6 GPRs and one special purpose register, that is the accumulator. So clearly, 7 registers which are accessible to the programmer at the first part. Now, in order to address 7 registers, how many bits should we require? Well, for that, 3 bit space will suffice. Because using 3 bits, we are going to have 8 different patterns starting from 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0001 till 111. Now, using these 8 sequences, we can refer to the different registers. And that is followed in the Intel 8085 microprocessor. For the GPRs, the sequences like 000, 001, 010, 011, 100 and 101, these specify the registers B, C, D, E, H and L. Coming to the special purpose accumulator register, the code 111 specifies it. Now notice, after assigning 7 different sequences to these registers, we are still left with one sequence. Now Intel didn't waste it. We already have seen, using the HL register pair, we can refer to any memory location. And for that, we use the alphabet M. Similarly, the sequence 110 is used to refer M. So it was smart of Intel, right? So it used codes for the registers and along with the GPRs and the SPR accumulator, it also specified one sequence for M, that is the memory location which is going to be pointed by the HL register pair. So using these register codes, the registers are referred in the 8085 microprocessor. Now you might be wondering why we are learning these register codes. Well, that will be answered in the next session where we actually will see the formation of opcodes. So in this session, we covered the topic register codes in 8085 microprocessor. All right, people, that will be all for this session. In the next session, with the help of the register codes, we are going to learn how the opcodes are formed so I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.